to lose twice against competition that's certainly not going to roll over these next three weeks for the Ducks. And that's the message. Don't make one mistake turn into two. Take care of your business. Certainly have a chance to get to one of those games again. And there's something to be said for that. Trask going through his progressions. The pocket starts to collapse. He's going to go down. So a good start for Vanderbilt. A little floater for Piran. Incomplete. Vanderbilt gets a stop on downs in plus territory with Dimitri Moore. Florida brings a blitz. Wallace, high throw. Incomplete. Begins with Monday night countdown at six. Kyle Trask back to throw. Sets up a little wide receiver screen. And that's going to be good for a first down. Down the run and Florida's screen game. Four-man rush. That's well picked up. And wide open. There's Kyle Pitts. The tight end makes an early impact. Trask back-to-back -back completions. Out. And it's actually second down and four. Emory Jones comes in. A little zone read. Kadarius Tony. An upfield cut for a first down. Cowan's matching up against those guys. Only a three-man rush. Trask over the middle. And it's a room service interception. Right into the hands of Tay Daly. And Daly is all the way out, close to the 30-yard line. To see opponents. Wallace looking towards Lipscomb. Now the pocket collapses, and he's going to go down well behind the line of scrimmage. Jet sweep. Turning up fields, Freddie Swain. Trask with a swing pass to Trayvon Grimes. And he grinds out another Gators first down. Play action for Trask. Underneath throws it behind Damian Pierce, but he makes a nice adjustment and breaks a couple of tackles and spins for a Gators first down. And I, that's, I asked this yesterday to Dan Mullen. Like, why, why? Because the offense moves really well with Kyle Trask. I would not like it. Well, there's your quarterback run, and he picked it up and then some. Michael Pirine, who empties the backfield, he takes the swing pass. Gets to the 10. Inside the 5, and he's down to about the 2. Up top. Instead, Pitts looks back towards p -Rock. And he's bumped out of bounds. That will end the quarter. And it brings up 4th down and goal inside the 2. A little flip pass out to p on and a broken play. And it's a touchdown. 4-man rush. Nowhere to go with the football for Deuce Wallace, and he will go down again. Delayed blitz. Wallace, wobbly throw over the middle, and that's picked off by Donovan Steiner. A cutback. Still on his feet. Inside the 25-yard line before he's brought down. Three yards passing and three interceptions. Malik Davis on a swing pass. And now that receiver group might be tested on third down. Trask out of the pocket, tucks it under, heading for the goal line, untouched. Touchdown. And the Gators bring a blitz. Wallace, no chance, down at the 11-yard line. Goodness. Play action for Trask. He's going to float one for Pitts on the sideline, and that one is perfectly thrown. Okay. Smooth, fluid, loose hips. Really impressive. And pass caught by Van Jefferson. Third down and seven. Trask under pressure. And that's a big stop for the Vanderbilt defense in the red zone. Good as you're going to get in college football. This one from just over 40 yards. The announcer jinx remains intact. Yeah, that won't Six close to seven. Here comes the blitz. Down goes Wallace again. This time it's David Reese. Uncoverable. So he's become a much more bigger part of their offense as it's gone. Tunnel screen up the sideline for Trayvon Grimes, and he's got a first down. One. Simple slant, pitch and catch, Van Jefferson. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Trask, high throw, wide open, it's Josh Hammond. Four-man rush this time. Again, all day to throw for Trask. He's going to tuck it under and run. And he'll get out of bounds in the red zone. It's wide open. Trask going to take a shot for that front left pylon, and it's tipped and intercepted. 
and this time Daly is able to hold on again. And the Florida fans are a little bit upset, so I think they want some pass interference. Wallace again, no chance to even set up shop and look downfield. In their protections. Trask pitch and catch to Trayvon Grimes. And he's down the sideline. Stays in bounds! And he'll go the distance. 66 yards for a Gators touchdown. Friends Day weekend. Our opportunity to thank all who serve as Trask steps up. Hoist one down the sideline. Laying out Tyree Cleveland. Outstanding throw downfield, even better catch. Play action for Trask. Bullets one to the end zone for Kyle Pitts. Another Gators touchdown. Here's Wallace. Sets up the screen to Keyshawn Vaughn. Hurdles a man. And gets out to about the 35. Close to the 37-yard line. That's a gain of 14 yards. More than doubles the total offense for Vanderbilt in the game. They had six passing yards and 12 total yards before that play. Wallace floats one into traffic. And Chris Pierce, easy throw away from it. Quarterback draw. There goes Wallace. He's got plenty of room, and he'll slide for a first down. A sprint out for Deuce Wallace. Throws one to the sideline. On time. Finds Cam Johnson. Hitch. Caught by Bostic. Breaks a tackle. Stays in bounds. For your screen. Florida shows blitz. Here they come. Off the blind side. It's a strip sack. Diabate knocks it out. Grenard head the other way. Touchdown. For the ICU. Little end around. Kadarius Tony. What a move. And another. Look at Kadarius Tony go. Finally tripped up at midfield. Fun to watch. Slant. And Jefferson. He run. Plenty of running room. They spread the wealth, and now Emory Jones gets a chance to run the football. There he goes. His options get the ball. Jones outside. Jones to the pylon for another Gator touchdown. Chatham, New Jersey, gets an opportunity to throw the football inside his own five-yard line. High to the sideline, and that's intercepted. Picked off by Donovan Steiner for the second time of the game. He's looking for the corner. See if the flag comes out, and it does. Josh Hammond, the intended receiver, and he was lassoed by Max Worship. Automatic first down. Feel good about the run game. Oh, there's Emory Jones. Quarterback run at the goal line. And it is a touchdown. So many things about this football game that were important for them to play well and, and have a chance to win and then take, you know, run away with the score. Alan Walters, elusive. And rifles one to the sideline for a first down. Person in me says yes, the logical person in me says no. Blitz. Walters heaves it to the sideline. So why would we not think there wouldn't be some of those unforeseen games still to come over the last month of the season? as the goose egg stays on the scoreboard for Vanderbilt. Last week's performance where there was no run game either. There's, there's something there that, that needs to get fixed. Here is Kadarius Tony. And he's got another first down. Looking for a guy that could coach your quarterback. He's the guy. Emory Jones, there's a shot. Jacob Copeland has it. Out of bounds. If Florida hasn't delivered the message against Vanderbilt to this point, I think they have delivered it now. As Emory Jones is into the end zone with a touchdown. Pandemonium, which is going to be amazing. Let's see if Vanderbilt snaps it one more time. Penn State still gets to play Ohio State. Sure. Right? So. Oh, Penn State's not out of it by yeah. any stretch. But out of it this afternoon and outmanned Vanderbilt. 56 to nothing is your final.